Hello, I'm Joe Wren. The city of Bloomington is suspending the community farmers market for two weeks, citing a concern for public safety after recent protests and an arrest over suspected ties between a market vendor and a white nationalist group. Now, vendors at today's market say their concern losing a day of the market will hurt their bottom line. Just get this mess out of the way. That's all I can say, because this is killing us. We don't need this here. Prosecutors decided not to charge the woman who was protesting at the market with trespassing. City officials have a news conference scheduled for tomorrow to address the issue. Bloomington Mayor John Hamilton says he's disappointed about the county commissioner's proposed agreement on how to move forward with the convention center expansion. He says they talked six weeks ago and the commissioners indicated this project was not a top priority, but the commissioners say that's not true. This is a priority, but we have other priorities as well. In other words, we have a lot of things on the front burner that we're working on all the time. Thomas says the new agreement is a bigger step forward because it includes a working group of all elected city and county officials than a steering committee. And the Indiana Election Commission recently approved the first paper backups for electronic voting machines. But it could take up to a decade before such equipment is available to every county that needs it. Now, Secretary of State Connie Lawson says the paper trails could, should boost voter confidence in the system and allow the state to conduct post-election audits. Now, here's a quick check of the forecast tonight. Mostly clear, lows down to 63 degrees in the five-day forecast. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, highs up to 83. Then sunny conditions continue for the next few days with highs ranging into the mid-80s, overnight lows falling into the mid-60s. We have more news on our website. It's all at WTIUnews.org.